This video is sponsored by Motion Array. Motion Array is unlimited download marketplace for all your video making needs. Here you will get 80,000 plus premium quality templates, stock videos and music files. Amazing plugins for Premiere Pro that provide incredible transitions and effects to help you make better videos faster and easier than ever. Also, you'll get unlimited royalty-free music and sound effects, and you can download unlimited music and sound effects with a single subscription. If you are a video editor or content creator, Motion Array is a great opportunity for you. You can check it out under the description link. What is Stop Motion? Stop Motion Animation is a series of pictures that when played together in sequence and create the illusion of the movement. What you need to make the stop motion. First, you need any object or equipment. Second, you need a tripod and a mobile phone. Third, you need a condensed light source. Now set up your camera pointing at the object. And it's very important that your camera stays in the exact same spot. For the mobile application, you can use the stop motion studio and it's automatically makes the animation. First, click on the new project. Select this gear icon and set the frame rate 12 or 24 FPS. Now click on camera and set the manual mode. Then focus your subject. Now let's capture the photos. So move the object and capture the frame. And if you want to speed up the animation, you need to move the object quickly. Now let's set up the sequence and animate the pictures inside the Premiere Pro. So first go to the edit. Preferences. Select Timeline. In the still image default duration is 100. For the stop motion, you can set the default duration 2 or 3 frames. Then click OK. Now import your photos to the project panel. To make the new sequence, click on Ctrl plus N. Select a preset, then go to settings and set the frame size and the frame rate, 12 or 24 FPS. But 24 FPS is the standard quality. Then type a sequence name, and click on OK. Then select the first image. Hold on Shift button. And select the last image. Then drag them to the timeline. Zoom in the timeline, and move them to the first frame. Now let's see the preview. As we can see these images don't match the frame size. So mark all of them, right click on the images. And select scale to frame size. Now let's see the preview. And that's it. If you want to make the slow movement, just increase the image default duration. Let's move these images inside a bin. and make another bin to import new images. Again select the first image, then shift click, and select the last image. Now drag them to the timeline. Now I have to adjust the frame size. So mark all of the images, right click, and select scale to frame size. As we can see there are little movements in the first image, so let's delete this one. Now it's perfect. And there is another way to slow this animation. Mark all of the images. Right click. And nest them. Again right click on the nested sequence. Select speed and duration. And slow down the speed. Also you can reverse the animation. Again if you want to speed up this animation, click Ctrl plus R, and speed up the animation. Now let's see how to make the loop of this animation, duplicate the nested sequence. So hold on ALT button, and drag it to the right side. Click Ctrl plus R, just enable the reverse speed. As you can see, I've already reversed the speed. So now I need to disable the reverse speed. Click I button to set the endpoint. 
and click O button to set the out point. Then enable loop playback. And click on play. So that's it. Now let's see how to make the fake stop motion in your video. And here I'm using this video clip. So first go to the effects tab, and search for posterize time. Apply this effect to the video layer. Then go to the effect controls, under the posterize time effect. As you can see the default frame rate is 24. Now we are going to split the frame. So for the lower frame rate, this video will play slowly. But if you want a fast movement, just increase the frame rate. For my clip, I would like to use 5 frame rate. For the next step, I'm using some VHS overlay. So you can download my VHS pack, under the description link. Inside this pack you will get, 70 plus VHS magrets. And 40 high quality VHS overlays. And you can use these overlays for all of the video editing applications. And 200 plus VHS presets. And all of these presets are very easy to use, you just need to drag and drop them. Inside this pack, I'll add a video tutorial on how to use them. So now for this stop motion look, first I'm going to use a film damage overlay. Second I'm using the minor tracking texture. And third I'm using a Super 8mm film look. And that's it. Let's close the window. Now I'm going to hide the 8mm film look, and tracking texture layer. For the film damage, you don't need to do anything, just drag and drop it on top of the video layer. Let's duplicate it to complete the video layer. For the tracking texture layer, you need to change the blend mode, normal to screen. For the film look, just change the blend mode normal to multiply. And that's all. Let's render it to see the better preview. So that's all for today, if you enjoy this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I'll try to reply all dedicated questions. See you in the next one, have a nice day.